through tonight and just bring just a little shift in winds in that cooler weather. There's Hurricane Delta. It has crossed the Yucatan Peninsula. It is a category two hurricane with winds of 105 miles an hour. What's going to happen is it's going to go to the northwest and then kind of loop back towards central or western Louisiana. The cone of uncertainty also has extreme northeastern Texas in that as well. Looks like it's going to hit on Friday during the course of the day with winds over at least 100 miles an hour. The remnants of that will dissipate and as it goes to our west again, we're just going to be on the eastern edge of this as we go into the weekend. And the biggest impact to us in terms of seeing any rain looks like it's going to be Saturday night and Sunday. This is our most aggressive computer model that I'm showing you here. So it shows you we get through Friday dry, most of Saturday dry with a few showers in the western part of the state. And then the crux of the rain comes through here Saturday night into a good portion of Sunday and then moves out of here Sunday night into Monday. But a lot of other computer models are keeping this rain farther west. In fact, I'll show you this one outlook from the National Weather Service. This is rainfall over the next seven days and maybe a quarter of an inch of rain central and eastern Virginia or less. But as you get out closer to I-81, could get one to three inches of rain out there. So keep an eye on it, but it looks like the main impact is going to be farther west in the Commonwealth. 84 today, 75 tomorrow, and 73 on Friday with an increase in clouds. 30% chance of showers on Saturday. We have about a 60% chance of rain on Sunday and a 40% on Monday. After that, we stay in the mid-70s on Tuesday. Another front's going to come through Tuesday night into Wednesday.